another day. Welcome, guys. We did quite a few things today. Um, one, I'm trying to, so I'm going to mount this amp. So that, I was going to, my friend suggested I could flip this up and put it right here, but it's not enough room, so that ain't going to work. So I can't put the amp there. So I'm probably going to end up doing this. I hear I don't have the, the back seats or the bins. I have nothing back here. So I think I might just set it behind the amp. I'll set it behind one of my seats. And I'll probably just put a piece of carpet over everything until I get bins or whatever I get in the future. I think that's going to be the answer. For now, at least. Man, I, I love this thing. If I, yeah, I should get a final project. That's it with the carpet hiding it, and then with it all showing. I'm not sure how much it'll change the sound or not, but I will do that once it's installed. Another thing I'm going to try to do here is I. Uh, Found my, it's actually for Megan Racing to adjust the coilovers. This thing is way too stiff for me. That's what she said. So I put these in here and I adjusted them. I turned them as soft as they go just to try and then I'll make them harder from there. But I mean, they're all different amounts too. The backs were already pretty soft, but the fronts, one side was like, probably 20 clicks the other side was like eight so had to do that also I'm a big Gretty fanboy and this car really has no Gretty on it at all it's kind of sad I mean I have to sell with all this HKS stuff <laughs> but um, get my Gretty collection going here this has a blitz blow up valve. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It doesn't have it. it. It works good. It doesn't really make any cool sounds to me. So I'm putting on my very favorite. Oh, yeah. Type S Gretty. Took me forever to find a really good condition one for a good price, I should say. These things are going for outrageous money. So I was trying to find a flange, a universal flange, so I could hook it up because it's just on a hose and I'm looking and the only thing I could find online was this this flange here let me open it up so this flange here and when I got it I got an inch I was like oh my god that's way too small when I actually got it but looking at um, how everything's mounted in here of course I don't have my flashlight handy oh there it is So, going to look at the lines here, it's actually the same. It is an inch. That's the lines that they have going to it now. So an inch is going to work. I'm pretty excited that's the right size, but I'm looking at the flange for the actual blow-off valve. The actual valve, I should say. It bolts right on everything, but man, that's like way smaller I suppose it doesn't make that big of a difference I, I mean it's meant for it but being that small I, I just don't know and also it didn't come with a gasket and I don't know where my gasket is I know I had some for this thing I think I have a brand new one somewhere I just have no idea where I put it so I might end up just using some some black gasket maker, or maybe some this RTV. I don't know. I found this one too. This is from um, um, a wastegate for the dump tube. Maybe I'll use that. I don't know. I'm going to have to look and try to find it. But very excited for that. And then probably going to install the sub today. And then. I also want to lower it the front a little bit. It's hard to tell these pictures, but I like it to go down like an inch. The back's great. I'm happy with the back. But I'm going to lower the front a little bit. So I'm probably going to try to tackle all that today. 
Also, um, stick with the Gretty theme. I have a old school Gretty turbo timer. It's actually been in a few of my cars. I'm gonna install that too. I'm just waiting for the harness to get here. And that should be it for today. We'll see what I can get done. All right, quick update. Um, I ended up using that RTV and find some bolts and washers laying around. Um, here's a blitz ball if I took off. I was trying to explain that all blow-offs are kind of universal. So this is the flange on this one. Not sure if he bought that or made that or if that's a kit for RX-7. I have no idea, but it's a uh, flange is just bolted down with two bolts. And then for this car, it goes to this tiny, <laughs> I think it's one inch, um, hose. And then on the car, just off the intake manifold, that's what you call it in this turbo world here. Of the FD, um, they just have it coming off into a one inch, and then I got another flange with a one inch on it. Boom! Any blow off valve with a that you can get a one inch flange for works. I, I don't like this at all, I don't like how small it is. Um, so I'm probably gonna look into getting something welded on one of these hard pipes on this HKS kit, or maybe even run no blow off, who knows? But I, I'm such a big, gritty fanboy that I'm gonna try this make it work um I'm gonna go ahead and put the intakes back on and then I'll see where I can mount the blow off better but yeah so just right out the manifold where I don't know what they call the road it's like the turbo outlets or I don't know what they call it on this car <laughs> but it goes and then there's just a little flange for blow valve so if your car has where bolts to it like a WRX or something like that you just buy that appropriate flange and bolt it on. I am wore out. <laughs> um, but I got everything back together. Um, I haven't started yet. We'll do that together. But these are on there. They're just kind of by the hose but where before it was on a bracket like that one's solid. And then the blow off valve is also just in there but that's what I've always done so I'm gonna figure some out later, but let me put a bracket right here to put those two together, but I don't know. But let's start it and see if it even works. Today, maybe a drive. We'll see. 